Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of August. So we're just going to see what comes up. You know, the timing is fluid. This is being recorded in July, but it is for August, okay? It could resonate in July, but my intention is this is for August. So we're just going to see what comes up. I wasn't planning on doing your reading next, okay? I had a, I had a list of how I was going to do these readings for August, and um, I don't know what happened, but it's your turn. Okay, you just you just jumped right to the top of the list. So, um, it's like I got to do this right now. I don't know why I got to do this right now. So, so you may need to everything, you know, every every word that comes out of my mouth during a reading is part of the reading, and I have to do this right now. So, I got I don't know what it is. You may have to do something right away, change of plans, change of plans. And um, so I'm not sure what is going on here. Um, it just seems like it's the right time. One of the other reasons I did it now is because my little one, um, who's going to be 11 here coming up soon in Libra season, is Libra. And, you know, I wanted to do it when she wasn't around and she's gone right now. So this is, maybe you're going to be doing something when somebody's not around. You know, it just seems like it's the right time to do it. So whatever that means, you know, whatever. Um, so what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Because she likes to listen. Somebody may be listening to you. They may be listening, you know, secretly because she pretends she's not listening, but she is. She, especially to the Libra ones. So interesting. Um, hope. So this is a, this is the star card. So it's a card. This is this is something arriving after the tower has fallen. So this is um, unexpected help. Um, this is a wish being granted. Um, this is a renewal, healing, um, guaranteed success. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So this is a star card. This is a wish being granted. It's It could be some sort of protection. You may be being protected from something. Now the star is also a divine connection, a connection with the other side. So there could be somebody from the other side that is guiding you. Um, there, there is um, hope for renewal here. A wish is about to be granted, or there, there is a wish being granted. It's, it's like they've heard, they've heard, they've heard, and they've granted your wish. Okay, um, whatever that means to you. Um, the tower has obviously fallen. Oh, we got these. We got to take them. The tower has already fallen, and now this is uh, hoping for renewal. This is help arriving. Um, realizing that it was a blessing. Oh, we got another fall. Fall out. So what else do we got here? Oh. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. A wish is definitely going to be granted. And that one just, you, I don't know if you saw it come flying out. But this is a wish being granted as well. So you definitely have a wish being granted here. Okay. No doubt about it. Now these are months. November. Something in November. Now this may have something to do with the month of November. Maybe it was November last year. Some some sort of wish was granted in November. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. August. In August something is going to happen. So this August something is going to happen and it may go all the way back to November. Something something is is I feel like this was last November for you. Um, last November something happened and maybe it's a completion in August. Hidden secrets can harm you. Interesting I mentioned secrets. A minute ago about about there's in secret something in secret oh something is going on and maybe you're dealing with a person that was born in our August or a person that was born in November something with the months of August and November are very very prominent for you there is some secrets somebody is keeping some secrets from you and maybe it was this person who or these whatever it was um, 
but this is, um, well, the star is a blessing in disguise after the tower has fallen. fallen. This is renewal. This is unexpected help. So, so there's some sort of help that has, uh, this is like a regeneration or something, a wish being granted that uh, helps you to renew in some way. Because this is renewal. It, it brings you wish fulfillment. So the tower has obviously fallen because the tower comes before the star card. But somebody was keeping secrets or they are keeping secrets from you. And they can harm you. These secrets can harm you. Um, I don't know. Let's see what we got going on here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo. Or an Aquarius. But this is unexpected help arriving. This is protection. This is protection. Interesting. Oh. Ah. The Queen of Coins reversed. So the Queen of Coins reversed is somebody that is unstable, insecure, jealous, and possessive. not working hard enough, not putting in effort, no teamwork, not working together. Somebody's not, wasn't, or isn't working together with this person. This person is hard to work with, okay? The queen of coins in reverse, somebody's hard to work with. She's very stubborn, or he, she or he is very stubborn. Doesn't work well with others. That's the truth. Um, oh my God, eight of coins reversed definitely doesn't work well with others. Something is not working out. Somebody isn't putting in much effort or they didn't put in much effort. They um, just can't work with this person. You can't work with them. Two of coins reversed. Look at these. Look at all these coins. This is, this may be, this may even have something to do with your job for some of you. Some of you, this may have to do with your job. There could be financial loss here. These are all financial. There's financial loss here. Somebody's not, something's not working out. Something isn't working out on the financial front. Okay. Just saying. Okay. Maybe there could be even, you know, I'm not sure if there's a loss of a job or loss of income or something like that. Somebody has is losing their uh, financial security here. That's what it looks like to me. It's like there's a loss of financial security. But don't give up hope, okay? Do not give up hope. You're dealing with somebody who is against you by the looks of things. I think it's a Leo or a Scorpio. That's my guess. Um... Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know. But I feel like this is, I feel kind of feel like the Queen of Coins in reverse. I don't know whose energy that is. It could be your energy. We all take on these um, court cards energy at points in our life. This is financial instability. This is a financial mess. This is lack of organization, uh, poor financial decisions, uh, no contingency plan, wasn't planning on this, wasn't planning on this uh, shutdown, whatever it is. Um, no work, no work. Somebody, this is not working, you know. Oh, let me turn that off. Oh, this one didn't pick up. We're going to take it. Ooh, nine of coins, and that's in the upright. So somebody may have been living the high life, you know, uh, enjoying life, very, very abundant at one time, but there's definitely a lack of stability up here. Okay, there's a lack of stability right here, but this is being very comfortable, uh, very abundant. We have a very hard worker here that is very strong, that, that can persevere. That can persevere through this. So don't give up hope. I think that you have a lot of skills. Maybe you're not using all your skills. Maybe you're not using all your skills. Maybe you're, there's, there's, um, 
This is very stubborn energy. Somebody here is very, very stubborn and set in their ways that, you know, is unwilling to expand in some way. Trying too hard to, to, or not trying hard enough to prove themselves. Somebody's not putting in much effort, but they definitely have the skills to succeed. The nine of coins is somebody that is um, very skilled, very smart, very wise, has picked themselves up from rock bottom. This is a very independent person. Perhaps you need to go your own way. Maybe it's time for you to do your own thing. Maybe maybe there's self-doubt here. Maybe it's time for you to do your own thing, Libra. Maybe Maybe it's time for you to start your own business, you know? I mean, you have the skills to start your own business. Why don't you just do it? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. If this is business or job oriented, um, I feel like we have somebody here that just doesn't... Um, maybe this is laziness. The Queen of Coins in reverse is laziness. Okay? Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. You have the skills to be successful. So I don't know whose message that is for. Um... My God, we got all pentacles. This is all about money in August. It is all about money. This is financial loss. Somebody could be losing their job. Just saying. Or a big job or something. This is this is big financial loss. But you have the ability. This is a blessing in disguise. The star card is a blessing in disguise. Somebody is going is losing some sort of financial financial whatever it is there's a financial loss here that there is okay but this is a blessing in disguise because it will give you the opportunity to do your own thing okay three of wands reverse you're probably not going to be too excited about this you're not prepared for it because there's no contingency plan here. You didn't plan on this happening. You're definitely not prepared. But, like I said, you have the skills. And I know that it's hard to hear this. But this is not seeing the opportunities. Lack of foresight. Wasted time. Somebody's been wasting time. Perhaps you've been praying. Because we have this wish being granted. You've been praying for more money. You've been praying for financial stability. You've been praying. But you have... This is take action. to bring. It, it really is. You have to take action and maybe you've been in a dead end job or a dead end situation that is going nowhere and you've been doubting yourself. There is definitely some self doubt here. Okay? This is a blessing. There is going to be a tower moment. I know that there is. There's going to be a tower moment that uh, puts you in a different place. You know, and, and forces you to go your own way. Whatever that means. This is going to open up a new avenue for you. I know that is what is going to happen. Chariot reverse. I think there's, 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 it's going to be emotional. It's going to, you're going to be probably get angry. I mean, the chariot is getting angry. It's it's out of control. There's lack of control. Emotions all over the place. This is a dead stop. There's a lack of direction. I think that you have been letting fear get in the way. You've been because this is uh, needing to replace that fear with faith and take the reins, be the boss. You have been letting yourself be under somebody's control long enough. It's time for you to get in the driver's seat. It's time for you to be the boss. Be the boss of yourself. Um, there's a lot of uh, inner conflict within yourself, I believe. I feel like you've been um, really fighting. You've been fighting your emotions. You've been fighting your fighting with people. You've been dealing with a lot of competition, probably at work. Um, There's been a lot of chaos. You've been dealing with chaos. There's been a strong competition. You're going to be receiving a message that you probably don't want to hear. 
Um, this message is going to uh, change your direction. And I think that this, this is, is going to put you, you know, on the defensive. I think that um, you've been uh, staying in a situation that is going nowhere for a long time. And I think it's time for you to uh, go someplace else. And I think the universe sees that. I think that they are going to bring about a tower moment because a tower comes before the star. They're going to bring about a tower moment that changes your direction, that you have the direction that you have been reluctant to move in. Um, I think that you've been wasting time in a dead end situation where you're not going to get the money or the payout that you ever hoped for. And you've been praying. You've been praying for more money, right? You've been praying for financial success. You've been praying, 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 praying. And they've heard your prayers. I know that they've heard your prayers. But I think that they're going to give you what you wished for in another way. It's not going to be in the same uh, job that you were doing, whatever that means. It's not going to be in the same uh, financial career, okay? It's, it's going to be different. You're going to be doing something different. Um, I think there's conflicts here, too, with these two cards. I think that you've been very, very conflicted. I think that you've been trying too hard, pushing too fast. Maybe maybe somebody's been stepping on the toes of others, trying to get ahead. That's where the competition comes in, and it's just caused some major problems. I definitely see conflicts here. Conflicts with others, wherever you work, at work. Or at school. There's conflicts with others. There's definitely a lack of balance here, and it's causing an upset within you. It's causing your emotions to be all over the. Over, you're feeling scattered. You're feeling uneven. It's just like this is too. It's overwhelming. It is. I feel like what, whatever this conflict is that you're dealing with is causing you um, maybe even a little outburst. You know, in yourself. You know, it's like oh. You may feel like you're going to blow up or you're going to burst or something. It's really hard to control your emotions with whoever it is, these people that you're dealing with. You're dealing with some strong competition. Probably somebody doesn't like you. Three of Swords reversed. This is leaving it behind on the path to recovery. Healing. You will heal from this. Now that is at the Three of Swords in reverse. There's been some sort or there's going to be a separation. This separation is going to bring you peace. Trust me, it is. This is on the path to recovery. This will lead you down the path of, of, to recovery. Okay? There's going to be a relocation. Some the season is over, that time is over, somebody's moving, there's no more growth here, there's no growth at all. There's no the, investing in it isn't gonna bring you more money, it's not gonna bring you more stability, it's dead, it's done, it's over. Okay, it's time for you to do something else, to go someplace else. So I do believe that you are going to be either starting your own business or getting a new job or going someplace where there's more financial stability. A lot of you are going to be doing your own thing. You got this idea. Right? You got this idea in your head, but you're not running with it. You've been you've been too doubtful. You've you've lacked willpower. You've lacked uh discipline. You you've let yourself stay in a situation that isn't fulfilling because of fear. This is fear, but I think you're going to you're going to be forced I do. I think that there's going to be a tower moment that forces you to uh, take take this new opportunity to do your own thing. So I think it's time. I think it's time. I think that you are um, you're going to be relocating, and you're going to be leaving something behind that um, there's no more growth. There's no more growth there. There's no, there's no need to invest. It's, 
Done. Now, it may have something to do with a mother. Okay, maybe maybe you're going to take care of yourself. Maybe you're going to love yourself. Uh, the Empress is you. Okay, it's also a Taurus. But um, it's about following your heart. And you will be abundant. You will be loved. Um, you have a lot of love to offer. This is a very beautiful energy where it's a rebirth. It's a renewal. It's the birth of a new life. This is what this is. It's the birth of a new life. You're going to be starting a new life. You're going to have plenty. There's nothing. And you really are going to have plenty. Okay? You are going to have plenty. After. You, this is a card of strength. And this one is too. Because you don't, you don't become this energy without strength. But you only gain that strength from pain, okay? Unfortunately, that's the truth. You don't become the empress without experiencing pain. Okay? So this is about being loved and cared for as well. You guys are going to be um, loved and cared for as well. There, there's some of you are leaving behind a mother that didn't take care of you. I don't know what that means, but and I hate to say that kind of thing, but this is leaving the past hurts behind. Okay, and they may have something to do with a mother. This is caring for yourself, caring for that inner child, being your own mother. You know, this is you taking care of your own inner child for some of you. Or, you know, this could be a mother that is coming to help or stepmother. It could be even somebody that has passed away. Anyhow, you are, will be guided because the star guides you. It guides you in the direction that you need to go. And you are going to be guided to abundance. But it's not going to be an easy path. It's definitely not. So I feel like August is a very, very big month for you. I think that you are about to start a new life. You are going to be leaving everything behind, leaving the past hurts behind. You're going to be loved and you're going to be cared for. Uh, if you are independent, you know, you may be getting, You maybe you're not, maybe you're going to be enjoying your independence or you're going to, you know, could be falling in love. I don't know. I mean, this is a message, it's a conflict, conflicting message, a message that you probably don't want to hear. You're probably going to be receiving a message that you don't want to hear that stops, that it's going to put, it's going to put, it's going to stop something that has to do with um, your security. It's going to make you feel insecure. This message is going to make you feel insecure and it's going to force you to change your direction. You're going to be changing your direction. It's going to bring about inner conflict as well. This is a big, huge loss. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse is a big, huge loss. But this big, huge loss leads to a rebirth. It leads to a new life. So be prepared to... You're not prepared. You're, I just saw that. When I said that, I looked at... This is not prepared. You are not prepared for this conflict. So anyway, uh, this is them answering your prayers in the way that you did not expect. You totally did not expect. But the star is guaranteed success. You are being called to go in this new direction. It is not going to be without pain. Just so you know. This is a major loss. But this will help you to uh, go with that idea that you have been reluctant and doubting, okay? So I see you starting something new. You're starting a new chapter of your life. You are. This is a new life. This is a new life. So you're about to start a new life. Um, you're going to be very, very, very comfortable. Very, very abundant. You are. This is, this is extremely abundant. You're going to have plenty. Because you're beautiful. Okay, this is beauty. It really is. So anyway, be prepared. Be prepared to uh, be let go. Whatever that means. Perhaps some secrets are going to be revealed. 
somebody's been doing something behind the scenes. I know they have. It's interesting that I started this reading out with that. Kind of, I did. Somebody's been, you know, they've been doing something behind the scenes. Listening, you know, uh, when they shouldn't be, you know, just very secretive. You're dealing with a very secretive individual who um, is up to no good. This person is up to no good. But I feel like this person... Um, Well, let's get one more card. What is this person? What is this? What's going to happen with this person that is up to no good? Seven of Swords. They're going to get caught. Or they're going to tell. They're up to no good. That They're going to betray you. This person is betrayed. That is, I mean, I was clarifying the hidden secrets. We get the Seven of Swords. This is, this is, this is somebody that is um, hiding something. Absolutely. This person is definitely hiding something. They're 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 playing with you. This is somebody that is very under underhanded and sneaky. This is like an enemy in the camp. It's a spy. Somebody has been spying on you, and they don't like you. They're up to no good. I feel like they're going to get caught. You're dealing with somebody that is very deceptive. Very materialistic as well. They're all about, all they care about is their money. King of Swords reversed. Oh my God. So that is abuse. I don't care. I don't care what you think. I don't care. This person probably going to make you mad. They probably are going to make you very, very mad. Closed off, shut down. Abuse. You're dealing with somebody that is dishonest. It could be a father. Maybe it's an absent father. Maybe you had an absent father. This is somebody that lacks integrity, that is cold and abusive, that doesn't care. You've got somebody here that doesn't care about your feelings at all. They have some sort of tricks up their sleeve. But I feel, I feel like they're going to get caught. I don't know what that means or how or what, but... I feel like they're not going to get away with whatever it is that they're planning. They're planning something. you got somebody here that is planning something. They're planning to betray you. Okay. May have something to do with the father. But they're not going to get away with it. Somebody's not going to. And this person just may lack clarity. You know, maybe they, maybe, maybe they just don't know. This person could be naive. That isn't very wise. Isn't very smart. Anyhow, I feel as though you are about to start a new life and leave it all behind. You're, and this could even be a boss that has no feelings. This person is cold. This person is rude. They're clueless. The person is absolutely clueless. Anyway, Libra, you got somebody here that doesn't have your back. They're hiding something and it's going to be revealed this month. And it's going to, uh, it's got a huge financial loss. Okay. It is. It has something to do with a financial loss. Um, but this is letting it go is actually a blessing in disguise. Okay. Because you are going to be successful because this is guaranteed success. A wish is going to be granted that breaks you free from something. It breaks you free from somebody's uh, leadership. I feel like it's leadership. It's like you're no longer going to be under their control. Good luck.